Hello and welcome back to another Queens of Supremacy tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this tasty strawberry shortcake using the vanilla cake mix made by Nika's Sweet Confections. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video and continue to watch. Thanks! <laughs> These are the ingredients that you'll need to create this delicious and tasty strawberry shortcake. You can order your cake mix at www.nikasweets.com and I'll leave this information in the description bar below along with a um, written list of directions for this creation. Okay, so to start, we're going to take the vanilla extract that was included in your cake mix box kit that you ordered from Nika's Sweet Confections and add it to your buttermilk. After you add that to your buttermilk, you just want to take a fork and just stir it a little bit. Just, you know, stir it up, let it get all nice and incorporated, and then you can go ahead, put that to the side after you stir it up. Y'all know I stir stuff a little extra. Then take the um, oil, the vegetable oil, your two tablespoons of oil, mix it in with your eggs, and just stir that up, and then you can put that to the side. Now... You're going to take the cake mix and you're going to add it to your mixer. I'm using my stand mixer, but feel free to use a hand mixer um, if you want to. It'll still work just as good. And then you want to just go ahead and add the butter to the flour mixture. And I'm mixing this on a two speed on my KitchenAid mixer, which you'll see in just a moment here. And you want to mix it until you get it to this consistency where all the flour is nice and coated with the butter. Well, I said that backwards, until the butter is coated with the flour. Then go ahead and add your sour cream. Let that mix a little bit. Make sure you get all of it in there. And then you can go ahead and pour in your buttermilk, which you'll see me do in just a second. Here we go. Pour in all your buttermilk and make sure you get all of that buttermilk and all of your vanilla extract and let that mix for a few seconds. Get it all in there. I like to make sure that I get every little piece of sour cream and buttermilk i want all of my wet ingredients now we're going to add our eggs in two parts so add the first half of the eggs you don't want to like overwork the batter too much you don't want to like overwhelm it so we're going to add in half of the eggs and then we're going to add in the second edition so once the first edition or the first half of the eggs have mixed then you can add in the second half of your egg mixture as you see me doing here and then we're going to let that mix for a little bit. And then after your eggs mix for about 20 seconds, then you're going to start your countdown of 90 seconds. And at the end, you're going to have a nice, pretty thick batter. And the color of your batter is also going to be dependent on the type of butter you use. If you use a butter that's more yellow, you're going to have a more yellowish batter. Um, but whatever butter, whatever type of unsalted butter you use is just fine. But just know that if you end up with like this thick batter, as you see here, you did the right thing. And, you know, make sure you get all the batter off of your, um, your beaters. Then you want to fold your mix to make sure all of the flour and all of the, the leaveners and everything that's included in the flour was incorporated. So you don't want to stir. You just want to fold. Go around the sides, scoop down the middle, do it gently. Now, I'm choosing to weigh out the batter that I put in each pan, but you don't have to do this. This is just what I want to do. So if you have a scale or, um, yeah, if you have a scale, feel free to do this. But you want to put an even amount of batter in each pan. And the Nika's Sweet Confections Cake Mix comes with a good amount of cake mix. So you're going to end up with like two very full cakes. And you can even make three cakes if you want to, three eight-inch cakes or you can do a quarter sheet cake. Um, you also have enough batter to create a sheet, a quarter sheet cake. So after you fill up your baking pans, you can start to just um, spread out your mixture. You want it to, you want to get it nice and even um, in your pans before you put it in the oven. So go ahead and spread that out. And once you finish the first one, you want to go ahead and move to the second one. So I'm just spreading this out, trying to get it nice and smooth, nice and smooth. And you don't have to be this extra. Okay, then you want to just tap your pans on the counter. What we are doing this for is to get rid of any air bubbles um, that are in our batter, which will cause like holes, which you'll end up with some of those. And if you do, it's okay. 
So now I'm moving on to making the strawberry mixture, which you can do this while your cakes are in the oven. So now I'm just adding my lemon juice to my strawberry mixture. And I'm so sorry for talking so fast in this voiceover. I'm just trying to keep up with what I'm doing on screen. Okay, so now I'm adding the sugar, then the cornstarch. The cornstarch is what's going to stick in this, okay? And then now just gently stir it. Stir it up and the cornstarch goes uh, over, all over the place like it did for me. You know what? It is okay because as you will see, you're going to have a beautiful strawberry filling. And I'll leave the instructions for this in the description bar below along with everything that I use. So don't even worry about that. So yes, just, just stir it up. And as you're stirring, you want to gently press down on the strawberries. Not aggressively, but you want to press down on a, on a couple of them. And it's going to like juice them, almost kind of like juice them a little bit. As you can see, like they're starting to get a little juicy and then stir every now and then stir. If you cook it on a medium high heat, it'll start to cook. And because of that cornstarch, eventually it's going to start to get thickened, thicken up. And I did this for about 10 minutes. So gently push down, flatten out some of your strawberries, juice them a little bit, stir, and then you'll end up with your strawberries filling looking like this. And when it's nice and thick, um, that's how you know it's done and taste it. So you know if you put enough sugar or not. Now I'm showing you how I make my whipped cream and I like making whipped cream fresh because the whipped cream in the store, it just has so much extra stuff in it that we don't need vegetable oil and hydrogenated this and whatever else. So just add in all of your ingredients. If you can, use your hand mixer as opposed to your stand mixer so you have more control. Once you have those nice stiff peaks, you know your whipped cream is finished. And of course, you can adjust the amount of sugar to make it sweeter or less sweet. This step is also optional. I am choosing to level my cakes just to get them a little more even. But if you weigh your, your cake mix or if you get it um, uh, two nice even cakes, flat top, you don't even have to level them. I'm just used to leveling cakes. So, and I'm also doing this um, inappropriately. So, excuse me. Uh, be careful when you're leveling cakes. You don't want to cut yourself. Okay. So, now I have my nice clean top. Now I'm going to start to build my cake. So I'm going to start with my bottom layer. And I'm only going to show you how to do one layer because after this, you're just going to repeat it. So you want to put your whipped cream on. And you don't have to do this perfectly because I know mine is not. And I'm a baker, you know. I can make some pretty cakes. But I was this one was a little sloppy. But it's all right because it tastes real good. Okay, so after you get your whipped cream on there, go ahead and put on your strawberry mixture. You can put as much or as little as you want to because this is your creation. And let me tell you, no matter how sloppy all this whipped cream and stuff may look, it is so good. Okay, so go ahead and spread your strawberry mixture on top of your first layer. And then after you do that, put on your top layer and then you are done don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you do this and how it tastes. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.